Welcome to the XTNG channel. I'm Tom, and today we're testing a well-known metering rod carburetor, the Billitron Pro 38. The Billitron Pro is the successor to the Billitron, which was developed by Lectron in 2021. Its predecessor is the renowned Lectron H series. The Billitron Pro was launched in 2023 and features a multi-fuel circuit system, including the torque gain fuel circuit and the power jet fuel circuit. According to the official description, the torque gain fuel circuit is designed to improve low-end torque performance. Additionally, this carburetor includes a new metering rod system called the accelerator. The back of this metering rod features a fuel reservoir, a design that significantly enhances the engine's throttle response capabilities. Today, we're going to put it to the test and see just how well it performs on the low end. As always, we'll be conducting tests in both first and second gear to evaluate its torque output at extreme low RPMs. The lower the RPM it can sustain without stalling, the better its torque performance. <laughs> First gear, no clutch. We can see that the torque performance is excellent, and the front wheel can effortlessly lift off the ground. Pay attention to the tachometer readings. The lowest RPM dropped to 12. Let's see if it can break below 1200. This bike is a 2017 Yamaha YZ250X with an OEM cylinder and cylinder head and a total runtime of 19 hours. It has an OEM CDI, a 13 tooth front sprocket and a 50-tooth rear sprocket. We are using Moshul 710 low flash point fully synthetic two-stroke oil. The fuel is 92 octane, unleaded, ethanol-free standard gasoline, mixed with oil at a 50-1 ratio. One steer, no clutch. The lowest RPM remains at 1200. It seems to be an almost unbreakable RPM threshold. However, the torque performance is already remarkable. The bottom end torque is very compact, and I can confidently tell you, in this aspect, it's definitely better than the Smart Carb S2. I can clearly feel the difference. In this regard, the XTNG Gene 3 Plus 36 and Billitron Pro perform identically. The Gene 3 Plus 36 can also effortlessly drop the RPM to 12. Now, let's start testing the torque performance in two and gear. The current carb settings are as follows, metering rod X23, metering rod length, factory setting, power jet, factory setting, torque A gain, one turn. The altitude, slope, speed, and other information shown on the screen are GPS data from a Garmin camera. This data is not authoritative and should be used as a reference only. Due to the characteristics of the new accelerator metering rod, we can clearly feel excellent throttle response. After testing the throttle response, the engine quickly returns to idle, and the idle remains very stable. 
Two end gear, no clutch. I can lift the front wheel off the ground by shifting my body weight. This was impossible during our tests with the Smart Carb SC2, which indicates that the two end gear torque on this setup is stronger than the SC2. The torque performance is impressive. Let's keep climbing. The engine stalled at 1,620 RPM. Oh, oh. Let's see if it can sustain a climb at 1,680 RPM without stalling. Two end gear, no clutch. The torque looks good. This time, the engine stalled again here. It might be because the slope is too steep. Let's roll back and try again. Two in gear, no clutch. At the top end, the performance is very flat, and the RPM cannot continue to climb. At high RPMs, the engine sounds quite dull. It's clear the fuel mixture at the top end is too rich. By the way, the RPM dipped as low as 1,860 earlier. Let's adjust the torque gain screw clockwise by half a turn. The top end performance has noticeably improved this time, but we believe it can still be better. Let's completely disable the torque gain circuit to see what changes. Once again, the top end improved. This time, we've reached what seems to be the best possible top end performance. Although the test distance wasn't long enough, I could clearly feel improvements with each adjustment. Based on the current results, the Gene 3 Plus 36 and SC236 perform better at the top end. The main reason for this seems to be that the actual Venturi diameter of the Billitron Pro 38 is only 34 Emma. Let's test the torque performance of this setup in two and gear. Two end gear, no clutch. Oh. 
the engine stalled at 1,740 RPM. It's evident that when the torque gain circuit is fully disabled, low RPM torque of performance becomes significantly weaker. We need to readjust the carburetor. I'll lean the metering rod by turning it counterclockwise by a quarter turn, lean the power jet screw clockwise by a quarter turn, and richen the torque gain by turning it counterclockwise by half a turn. The goal is to achieve a better balance between low end and top end performance. After the adjustments, both low end and top end performance improved further. However, in two end gear, the lowest RPM still couldn't drop below 1800, and the low end performance wasn't as good as before. On the other hand, the top end performance improved, but it's still not as strong as the Gene 3 Plus 36 or the Smart Carb SC 236. When it comes to the best low RPM torque performance, the Billitron Pro 38 and the Gene 3 Plus 36 multi circuit mode are clearly superior to the Smart Carb SC2. In addition, we discovered that the Billitron Pro uses a PWK28 float. This design causes the float bowl to automatically load with fuel during continuous downhill riding. This issue was especially prominent in early standard Billitron models, where the float bowl would frequently overfill with fuel. In some cases, the excessive fuel loading led to engine stalling and fouled spark plugs. Electron later became aware of this issue and addressed it by using a smaller fuel needle valve. While this adjustment improved the situation, the float bowl still tends to auto-load with fuel during continuous downhill riding. The difference is that it no longer completely overfills the float bowl. Let's talk about its adjustment process. If you need to adjust the metering rod or release the fuel from the float bowl, you must use tools to complete these operations. In this regard, the Smart Carb SC2 hasn't achieved a completely tool-free design either. However, the Gene 3 Plus has fully accomplished 100% tool-free adjustments thanks to its patented float bowl fuel release mechanism. Finally, let's test its fuel efficiency.